Hello, hello. Welcome to African Travel and More. Today, we're going to explore the currency of the different countries that I visited. And I know you have questions like, can I use my ATM, my credit card? So join me. Let's explore those countries right now. First is Kenya. Kenya is the home of wonderful safaris and the magnificent Maasai. They use the Kenyan shilling. And one thing I noticed while in Kenya is that you had ease of access to ATMs and money exchanging was very good. However, something to keep in mind when traveling through a lot of the African nations is that you want to have larger denomination of bills and the newer denomination, the newer, newer. Don't come with old, tattered, and torn money. They do not want that. They want the newer $100 bills is what's preferable. So yes, Come ready to get a lot of shilling and spend lots of money in Kenya. The most expensive thing about your African travel will be your plane ticket. And it depends on how you arrange that travel. But that's another video demystifying African travel and I'll put it in the link to this video but when you get your ticket and you pay visa fees if that's what you need that's really the biggest cost once you're on the continent hotel accommodation um, and uh, say taxi or transportation costs and food are very nominal. They're, it's not very expensive at all, but it's just that you will need to plan and you do have to plan. So I want you to be able to check out some of my other videos where I share that with you, or you can check out my podcast, which is also African Travel and More. It's on uh, Apple iTunes and Spotify. Ethiopia's currency is the burr. Now, Ethiopia, I've traveled here several times. And finally, once I decided I was going to stay a couple of days, maybe four days at tops, I exchanged my currency at the airport because I was only going to be there a short time mainly in Addis Ababa. I didn't travel too far away from there because um, I hadn't made plans to. So I know that once you're in the uh, Addis Ababa, you're able to use your ATM, use credit card uh, at your restaurants, at your hotel. But it's when you travel to the rural communities and villages of most of the countries that you will need your cash. So yes, when you travel to Ethiopia, get lots of burr. If you want to cruise on the river Nile, the source of the Nile, you'll be able to do that once you get some Ugandan shillings. Uganda also uses the shilling as their currency. And you may also use credit card and access your money through ATMs. About six years ago when I visited Uganda, it was more difficult as in other countries, uh, developing, nation, developing African nations, 
to use your credit card. However, now Uganda is more developed and they have more businesses there and more tourism and they accept cards. So you will do fine in Uganda. Next up is South Africa. Now, South Africa uses the South African Rand. So, if you are going to visit all of those great historical places like Mandela's home, you're going to need the South African Rand. Next, another thing I find interesting and great about it is that Namibia also accepts the Rand. So, if you are visiting Namibia, no need to get rid of your rand because you can spend it there. In South Africa, you will find lots of ATMs. Easily, you're able to use your credit cards because South Africa is very developed. South Africa is just like visiting the U.S. if you're coming from the United States. So get ready to spend lots of rand when you make it to South Africa. Now, originally when I visited Senegal, Senegal was using the franc or Sifa, uh, I believe. And now uh, it's a part of ECOWAS with other uh, African countries, mainly the French speaking African countries have all join to have one currency however that'll be a different a different um video uh talking a little bit about uh ECOWAS because uh there was a little bit of uh not fallout but there were six African countries in West Africa that rejected it so uh yeah but uh, the thing about Senegal is you will be able to use credit card but it's mainly in the uh, hotels and uh, that sort of thing. It's the same trend across many of the African countries that when you're in the metropolitan areas, you are able to use your card more to pay for maybe a meal at a restaurant and that sort of thing. But once again, the service fee, especially at businesses, I noticed uh, in Senegal, when I made purchase, they did not pay the service fee. They added the service fee, as some people do here when you make um, purchases through different um, uh, platforms or different things like PayPal. A lot of people will add that fee on, but just be be aware of that, that in the African countries, they definitely will add it on if you haven't had it <laughs> added on here in the states next is ghana now ghana has the cd and the cd wow yes you're going to be able to make lots of beautiful purchases in ghana with this cd but also one thing that i've noticed and watch since my first visit to Ghana in 2010 is that now you are able to use your credit card more with ease at different places. Yes, Ghana is developing and it's on the rise and you really want to visit Ghana. Yes, do you detect a little bias? It's a good thing because I love all of my African countries that I visited. But I just get really, really, really excited about Ghana because, yes, I visit so much. Now, next is Botswana. And we have the Pula in Botswana. And the thing that's so nice about Botswana is you're going to be able to use your credit card at many establishments. Um, Botswana, like Ghana, is developed um, and they accept credit cards with ease uh, and you, you'll be able to move about quite well. Now, the only thing I will say is 
visa having a visa an atm with a visa logo is much better uh, and the reason being you have uh like once you get overseas you have different banks like standard a uh, standbeck uh these different banks that um are more friendly for our visa logo than uh even mastercard i've gone to um <laughs> i've gone to banks where uh it's just it doesn't accept it so you really have to find out um which bank works for you but i'll i will tell you this the visa having a visa atm is the way to go really worldwide you have less problems when you have that visa logo but remember that when you're traveling in the rural villages cash is king you want to have the larger bills 100 uh, dollar new new one hundred dollar bills to get the best exchange rate some countries will not accept lower denominations like dollar bills five dollar bill twenty dollar bills it just depends and if they do accept them it's a lower amount uh for the exchange rate that you get so just keep that in mind I hope that this has been of help and that you'll be able to use it. So until next time, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, share, and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.